Disney, but you hate me! Catch all the laughs on The King of Queens, tonight at 9 on WCIU. <laughs> We don't live in a perfect world, but you could help make it better. Train in criminal justice and you could have lots of opportunities. You could work as a parole officer, youth advocate, correctional treatment specialist, and more. Times like these call for people like you. So don't wait any longer. Find out how you can get started in criminal justice. For a brochure, call 888-227-9073. That's 888-227-9073. Call now. When it comes to going bald, you now have a choice. Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. It is your real hair. It's your natural hair. You wash it, you cut it, you swim with it. Bosley is the world's most experienced hair restoration experts, having pioneered virtually every major advancement in the art and science of hair restoration. I'm very, uh, very satisfied, very happy with what I've done. This has got to be one of the best decisions I've made in my life, I'll tell you that. Bosley Hair Restoration is a relatively simple outpatient procedure. The results look completely natural, and it's affordable on nearly any budget. Call the toll-free number now to receive your free no-obligation information kit that will help you decide if hair restoration at Bosley is right for you. You don't have to accept going bald. Do something about it right now. Call 1-800-295-5068. That's 1-800-295-5068. Call now. You know, again, when sexual abuse takes place in a family, and it is a family member who is a perpetrator, the devastation goes, reaches every level of the family. Now, my next guest confronted her abuser, who was also a cousin, and she did it in an unusual way. I want you to take a look at this. I once knew the good person my cousin was. I looked up to Brian almost as a big brother. He was fun to hang out with. We always got together during family holidays. He was someone I loved and trusted and never imagined that he'd be capable of committing the crimes he committed. Two years ago, I decided to put all my feelings together on paper and eventually it turned into a five-page letter that ended up sending my cousin, Brian, in an email. Brian, this letter is probably coming as a complete surprise to you, but I didn't feel I should warn you since you never warned me when you were going to use my body for your own damn pleasures. I still have flashbacks of you lying on top of me or slipping your hands down my pants. It seems any time I tried to escape you, somehow or another, I would fall back into your trap. By confronting him, it let me um, find closure in the end because it was my way of letting him know that you don't control my life anymore. Did you ever once think about the hell you were putting me through? Each time he cornered me, locked me in rooms, I was scared, at the same time disgusted. I felt like I had no voice, no way of escaping, like I was a prisoner in my own little hell. I took back all that power, control, fear, everything that he put on me as a little kid and took it back and stood up to him. Each time I hit the send button on another email to my cousin, I gained another piece of my life back, gaining all the control that he had taken from me as a little kid. Please welcome Aaron to the show. Sat it on that table. Let's go back and explain this from what? About age 11? Yeah, it was 11 years. For how old. long? For about five years? No, for two years. Two years, okay. For a two year period of time. And again, you were in one of these family situations where just because of family closeness, you were always in some situation where your cousin was around, were you not? Yes, actually, this all, um, let me take you back. This all began when I was 11 years old. My sister had begged us to spend the night with our grandparents in our condo. Mm -hmm. And I said good goodbye to my parents and ended up staying the night. We ordered pizza. It was any typical night, family gathering, real close family with my relatives. And I ended up um, falling asleep on the sleeper sofa, um, air mattress my, that my grandparents had pulled out for me. And the older cousins all went off and did their own thing. Well, I went to bed that night thinking I would wake up to the sun hitting my face in the morning. But instead, around 3 AM, I woke up to my cousin Brian's hands down my pants. 
I was scared, terrified, and confused. And you're 11 years old? 11 years old. So, in the dark, um, immediate reaction? I panicked, grabbed his hand out, put it on his chest, and looked over at him. And your thought was that maybe he did this in his sleep for half a second, right? Yes, yes. Just what you said, but you realized? That it, no, that I looked at him and his eyes were wide awake. He was... During one of these little hide-and-seek games, that was the second time that he assaulted you, correct? That was the, yes. And explain to them what happened. Because this was one of these nights where he, he tried to show you the ultimate hiding place, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. I had been um, playing with my little younger cousins that I was watching, and he had taken me down to the basement. He had come home and said, I got a great hiding spot for you. He hid his older brother, younger brother, and then went and hid me and brought me down in the basement and up into this crawl space. And it was dark, I couldn't see anything. He grabbed a bunch of blankets, put me under him, and then got under with me and began to molest me. And no matter how much you pushed him off, scream, like you didn't scream because... I, I, I couldn't scream, but I kept telling him, leave me alone, leave me alone. I just want to go back up, upstairs, leave me alone. And I kept trying to push him off me. But he was just too strong and overpowering and... And at this time, you were 11, he's what, 13? Yeah, 13, 14. And then he turned 12, he's 14, 15. Yes. And turned into a 14, 15-year-old, big football playing, yes. strong young man. Yes. And you didn't put on much weight, I can imagine. No, I was still young, small, petite little girl. So over the next two years, how many times do you think your cousin assaulted you or attempted to assault you? Well, the problem was, is my aunt would always stop me on the way home from school, and I had to pass her house to get home. So she was stopping me daily, three every days, day. Two, three days a week. Two, three days a week. So two, three days a, a week, week you have happening. to fight off your cousin? Yes. And not only then, it was my holidays turned into a living hell. My Thanksgivings, my Christmases, my Easters, all the birthday celebrations. This is something that you can't erase. It's something that is put on you that will be live with you the rest of your life. Just like Michelle, you've contemplated suicide, attempted? I attempted suicide, I dealt with self-injury. I would rather feel the physical pain of, of cutting myself any day and the emotional pain of the flashbacks, the nightmares that just haunted me daily. I felt like I was put back in that time, locked in bedrooms, closets. I gotta take a break, and that's exactly what this boy did. He would lock you in any place he could isolate you, lock the door, keep you uh, extra uh, aside from the rest of the family, trying his best, and, and it's a constant battle of fighting Yes. for you. I'm gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna find out how... Mm, I wanna say it this way. Aaron gets saved, but it's disgusting in a way. Yes, very how that happens. Let me take a break. We'll be back right after this. Did you take action to help catch a criminal and you'd like to share your story? If so, call us at 1-800-MONTEL-2. That's 1-800-MONTEL-2. Weeknights, meet the desperate house guys of WCIU. <laughs> where everyone has a dirty little secret. Shower, okay? And you never know who to trust. You always cry. You gotta be a man. I don't wanna be a man. Watch Bernie Mac at 6.30 and 10.30. Y'all better recognize. And the King of Queens at 9 and 10. Slap it high. Desperate house guys. Weeknights on WCIU. It's you. You, you, you. Car breaks down, you call a mechanic. You have a toothache, you call a dentist. You have problems with credit card debt, you call Consolidated Credit. They'll cut your monthly payment by up to 50%. Some problems can't be ignored. Credit card debt is one of them. Call Consolidated Credit. 1-800-446-3304. 1-800-446-3304. Consolidated Credit. When credit card debt is the problem, they're the solution. When I saw my picture, I was mortified, so I called L.A. Weight Loss. L.A. Weight Loss will change your life. It changed mine. This summer, Dorothy is going to the beach. 
men kind of follow me with their eyes. I'm like, yeah, I see you too. I love that. <laughs> you can totally do this. It's really that easy. Thank you, LA Weight Loss. This Dorothy is gone away. Just pick up the phone and call. LA Weight Loss Centers now just $5. Call for your free consultation. 1-800-526-SLIM. Sybaris, a private paradise voted the best romantic getaway in the United States. Visit us online at Sybaris.com. That's S-Y-B-A-R-I-S.com to receive a free brochure and special discount for your next romantic getaway. Closed captioning provided by... Were your kidneys damaged from heart surgery? If so, a certain medication may be involved and you may be entitled to compensation. Call the Cochran firm, 1-800-LAW-HELP. Promotional consideration provided by the following. Watch my dark circles, puffiness, and wrinkles disappear instantly. Sudden Change Under Eye does it. Guaranteed to give you these results instantly. Sudden Change Under Eye Firming Serum. Can your nails do this and not break? They can with Nutrinail Triple Power Gel. Contains three powerful strengtheners to prevent breakage. Nutrinail Triple Power Gel. To stop when you were 13, right? Yes, to stop when I was 13. Over the course of the next two to three years, just talk about how you were as a person. Because when did, when did you talk to your sister? When did, when did that happen? Same that, that happened um, in March of 1998, when I was about 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And the course of the two years before then, it was just living in my own little silent hell, being told, no one would believe me. You will destroy this family. You've got no proof. And you, at this point in time, just talk about Aaron and where your head's at. You think you've been singled out. Yes. Don't you? I thought I was his only victim. And if you, if you said something, he would, he would attack, hurt other people, or, or you didn't know what he was going to do, right? I didn't know what he was going to do. So you're walking down the street one day with your sister and a friend. Correct, right? yes. Your sister's how, much, how old is she? She's two years younger than me. She's, she so was 11. You were 13, now she's 11. She was 11, yes. Just walking down the street, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, Allie says what? Brian's gross. And what? that in that minute she said that it was like my whole world around me crumbled. My throat closed up and I felt like I was devastated. Please I... welcome Allie, Aaron's sister Allie, to the show. <laughs> Talk to me for a second because you were making that statement. Did you make that statement that day? Do you think let's think about it? Did you say that out loud that way? Just for your sister to hear you? Just to like get it out in the open and because I thought I can confide in a sister and stuff. So Did you think that was gonna prompt the conversation? What do you mean by gross? And then you could say it? Yeah. I were thought... you shocked when you found out that she understood exactly what you meant? Yeah, her reaction on her face pretty much told it, it all to me. That and something was happening to her too. So, so that day the two of you then consoled each other and talked about what had been taking place. What then made you decide to turn this into action? Well, in the beginning when we first, when I said that, and mm -hmm. me and my friend were like, we're going to keep it to ourselves. This is a secret between all three of us and mm -hmm. stuff. And then I confided in my other best friend. And when we were walking past my cousin's house, he was, um, we were walking and I was telling my friend about what happened when we passed his house. And she's like, did you tell your parents? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to tell them. I can't tell them. And you can't tell them either. It's a secret between us and stuff. And she's like, you need to tell your parents because that's totally wrong and everything. So then she's like, when we get back, you're telling your parents or I am going to for you. Mm -hmm. So then when my sister got home and then kind of went from there. But the same, you know, I don't know if you were able to listen to any of Michelle's story, but almost the exact same thing happened same to you. Same exact story. Talk yes. about it. You went in, you told your parents, your parents knew. Right? They yes. had it. Yes. They believed you. Oh, yeah. yes, they believed me. and They took immediate action, supported us. And we originally did not want to go to the police. We originally just wanted him to get help. Mm -hmm. That was I, Our goal was not to put him away in jail and let him be released into society a few years from now and go out and do this again. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this.
For free studio audience tickets, call us at 212-989-8101 or visit our website at montelshow.com. Boniva, my osteoporosis medicine. Which is exciting because <laughs> you only take it once a month. Ooh, once a month. Ooh, Boniva is the only once monthly treatment for postmenopausal osteoporosis proven to build bone density to help prevent fractures. Unlike weekly treatments, you only need Boniva once a month. And two out of three women preferred the dosing of once monthly Boniva over a weekly treatment. You should not take Boniva if you have low blood calcium, severe kidney disease, or cannot sit or stand for at least 60 minutes. Follow dosing instructions carefully. Stop taking Boniva and tell your doctor if you experience difficult or painful swallowing, chest pain, or severe or continuing heartburn, as these may be signs of serious upper digestive problems. I can't get over it just once a month. Don't get over it. Get with it. <laughs> you do the right things to treat your osteoporosis. To build strong, healthy bones, once monthly Boniva. There's only one. Ask your doctor for a free trial offer or call 1-800-4-BONIVA. <laughs> Who's the man, baby? Got me some cash. <laughs> we came to Midwest Title Loans to get fast cash for our weekend getaway. For an unexpected bill. To get cash back in my pocket. It only took about 15 minutes. And all I needed was a clean and clear car title plus a valid ID. There were no hassles and no credit checks. They wanted our business. And I still have my car. Midwest Title Loans. Helping me get the cash I need for whatever. Call 1-877-511-CASH. I knew I had skin cancer, but I didn't realize that I had malignant melanoma, the most deadly kind. They found a growth on my left vocal cord, which came back uh, malignant. I could go ahead and have the surgery or get a second opinion. I wanted a second opinion. My wife gave me this 800 number and said that I needed to call and talk with Harry at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. There are options, there is hope, and that's what I'm here for, is to kind of help them through this decision-making process. We provide the patient with treatment options that most places don't have. How much hope does that put in a person that's just been diagnosed? To be talking with someone now that says they've survived five years. Our cancer information specialists are available 24 hours a day. Call now and they'll send you this free DVD and information showing you how hospitals dedicated solely to treating cancer can offer you treatment options you may not even know exist. There's always hope. We came to the right place. This is how it's going to be in heaven. That's what I tell my husband. Did you help police catch a criminal and you'd like to share your story? If so, call us at 1-800-MONTEL-2. That's 1-800-MONTEL-2. As a mom, you're always wanting to protect your kids, and the last thing you think that's going to happen is it's going to be somebody you know and somebody that you trust in the family. and. And it just it devastates, devastates you. When they got abused, it just feels like it's, it is the most helpless feeling you can feel as a mom. Please welcome Aaron and Allie's mother, Rebecca, to the show. Welcome her. Before, before I ask you a question, let me just give out some more stats here, just so you understand. 27% of all offenders of child sexual abuse were family members of the victims. 42% of, of the offenders who sexually assaulted children between the ages of 6 and 11 were family members. 24% of the offenders who sexually assaulted juveniles between the ages of 12 and 17 were family members. So we're running about 27 to 28% of the offenders are family members. And so we turn a blind eye and it's time to stop. What, what's this done to your family? Well, I, was, I was sitting backstage and, and watching your family story, I was like, it was ours. This is our story. What's this been like for your family having to deal with? Because I know this has been tough for you, hasn't it, Eric? Yeah, it is. It is. And we devastated. talk about 15, 16, 17, and 18 years I, of age. It all, I tried to keep it all down, and it all just bottled up, bottled up. It got to a point where I couldn't handle it anymore. I went through the attempting suicide, I went through the self injury, I went through trying to, um, you know, reclaim my life but it seemed the therapist the medication the hospitalization none of it was doing the trick it was like i was trying to get on with my life and it was like i would much rather be at peace and move on 
it's so hard because as a mom, you are, I was trying to help my daughters go through this and, you know, wanted to help them. And uh, Aaron, just as uh, Michelle was saying, Aaron didn't want my help. I mean, she wanted, and I finally go, Aaron, please talk to me, talk to me about this, you know, let me help you. And she, she would turn to me and go, Mom, you know, I've got a therapist, I've got somebody, I just want to keep you for the good stuff in my life. I don't want to bring you into the, the bad stuff, the horror of what I went through. And see, that part of this is where I, I, I got to come back to. So often I hear from people who just can't even begin to understand and understand that this is something that's not going to go away. You just can't now because there's a conviction say, okay, I was going to forget about it in your case and move on. Exactly. You don't. You just... It's something that'll always be there. But you have stepped forward, though, in, in a big way, Aaron, with this Definitely. book that you've written, correct? Yes, I decided that I wanted to... I played victim for so long in my life and was silenced for so many years. I did not want um, to live in that silence anymore that my cousin had put me through, and I decided I wanted to put a face and a voice on the issue. And what's so powerful about your book is the fact that you took, throughout this entire period of time, you were keeping journals or a yes. diary. So you wrote about each thing that happened to you just yes. about every day. In, in my diary, just diary entries starting at 11 years old, talking about one incident after another throughout the whole process of... She bought this book to you to review, yeah. did she not? I mean, I just wailed reading this book because all these memories, all these incidents of like Christmases of when I bought him the trampoline and you're thinking you're the greatest mom in the world, you know, oh, my kids are going to be so surprised and stuff. And then to read this and find out that same Christmas, my little girl was being abused an hour before at this Christmas function. It's like it just bulldozes your whole uh, life of thinking what your life was and it's not what you thought it was. The book is called Stolen Innocence. It's in a bookstore. We can get it's it. It's in bookstores. Bookstores everywhere. across the country. I would suggest getting a copy of it, honestly. Even if, it's, even if it's just to make you more aware of what's going on in your own family. And that's my goal. It's to make people aware that this happens. It's not just in my family. This could be happening to their children. You can go up on Amazon.com. You can go to a bookstore near you. Go get a copy of this today. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. For free studio audience tickets, call us at 212-989-8101 or visit our website at montelshow.com. Today at noon on WCIU. Tonight, the Florida Marlins make their way upstream for a three-game set at the Friendly Confines. Tonight at 6 on WCIU. You don't have to be stuck with your old windows all summer. Hand me the phone. Call 866-4-FPL. DCO. Right now, Feldco can save you thousands with no interest or payments till next year. Our polite, hardworking professionals will take care of it all, starting with a free estimate. The savings add up quick. Call now. What was that number again? For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feldco. If this is what you like to do in your spare time, you'll love to do it full time. This is today's automobile, and it takes a trained automotive technician to work on these. Call 1-800-506-2271. Now, Lincoln Tech can give you the skills you need to work on the technology of today. ASE certified instructors, hands-on experience, and an exciting, rewarding career doing what you love to do full-time. Get started now. Call 1-800-506-2271 now for your free brochure. 1-800-506-2271. Write this number down right now. If you're out of high school or soon will be, unemployed or underemployed, if you're looking to turn your career around, this is the number you should call. 1-800-506-2271. The call is free and so is a career brochure from Lincoln Tech. A new career can be as simple as making this phone call. 1-800-506-2271. Write that number down. Call Lincoln Tech today and be on your way to an exciting career tomorrow. Promotional consideration provided by the following. Irritating skin itch? Oh. Get Gold Bond Anti-Itch Cream. Ah. It helps stop itches fast with two strong medicines. Got an itch? Oh. Gold Bond Cream. The quick fix for almost every itch. Ah. Ah. 
Is your vacuum as powerful as an 8-pound Auric XL? Try it risk-free for 30 days. Welcome our aftercare specialist, Dr. Alicia Saucer, to the show. Welcome her. God, before I ask you a question, Mr.